Hey guys, Common Villager here, and welcome back to Let's Play Imperion Galactic Survival. Well, in last episode, we had found a sanctuary where it has uh, different stuff little medical stations, got a uh, place where you can trade stuff, all that kind of stuff. All in one, which is uh, pretty cool. Also, uh, we came back to camp because today uh, I'm making biofuel. Uh, also made some carbon composite blocks. I don't think I can hold all those, can I? Actually, I can only hold one of them. I'm just going to put them back in here for now because I have a bunch of stuff in my inventory. Today, we are going to be making a hover vessel. And this is your hover vessel starter block. So we'll set that down maybe over here somewhere. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take out our survival tool. Go into salvage mode. We're going to salvage all these steel blocks off of it. Because the steel blocks do weigh quite a bit. Now, our other vessels we will get later on, like either from a PDA or something like that, will contain steel blocks. But just for now, we're going to use this. So what I want to do is uh, we're going to set, uh, behind our core, we're going to set our fuel tank. We're going to put our generator here. Also, we're going to put, see if I can put it right there, we're going to put a ground propulsor engine right here, or, or what was it called? Ground, ground repulsor engine. We're going to put one over here. We're also going to put one right here in front. So these, um, these will lift the vessel, it'll help us turn the vessel. Now the vessel will only lift so high with these uh, ground repulsor engines, but <clears throat> that's not going to matter a whole lot because uh, all this thing is going to be used for is just kind of like a little bike. Also, our meat is starting to spoil a little bit, so what we're going to do is grab a fridge that's made for a hover vessel. We're going to put it right here, and uh, we do have a little bit of biofuel. Also, we do have some right here we can put right here. Also, we'll dump our steel plates back in here. We'll access our fuel tank this way also. If you hit P, you can access your fuel tank this way. Of course... You know, either way, it doesn't matter. That'll give us 33% fuel. And you can either hit uh, F to power... No, wait, what is it? Uh, y. What was it again? Let's see. It's been a while. Uh, it's not Y, is it? It's, uh, I've forgotten how to turn my vessel off. Well... Either way, you can uh, power it on up here by hitting P. That'll power it on. And what that'll do is it'll add power to you, the fridge. And you can put your food in the fridge. Your stuff that spoils, you know. And we will... Uh, we'll keep a portable constructor on us in case we need to cook some food. So... We will uh, grab uh, some iron ore real quick and we'll get a... We'll get that going. We'll put the rest back in here. A constructor would be nice, but just on a little simple bike like this, I, I'm i not going to put one on it. Also, we got a cockpit. Now, most of your cockpits are going to be too big for this thing. So what I recommend is you could put one like this on it, even though it's really long. That's too long could have one like this. Now these are nice. They help, they'll help protect you from the cold. But they're really blocky. And I don't recommend it. So what I'm going to do is just go with a basic cockpit open. 
like this because all we're really using this for is uh, just to uh, sit in and maneuver around in. Also, I have some of these, and we're going to kind of uh, kind of place some blocks on the side, like so, kind of like. Uh, well, before we do that, actually, I forgot. If you uh, hit in on your keyboard, and you go to symmetry plane, and I think it's YZ. And then you click on your core, you'll get this uh, symmetry plane field. And what you can do is like if you place a block over here, well, the game will place a blo uh, block over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to get this. Let's uh, go with, uh, let's see, how can we do this? Uh, yeah, we'll go with this one. You use your delete key and end keys to rotate the block a certain way. End key to turn it. And this, uh, these lines are your axis, depending on how, how you want to turn it. We're going to set a block there. And as you can see, it set a block on that side. We're going to get a... We'll get this block. We'll put it over here, maybe. Yeah, why not? We'll put that over there. We will uh, also put some regular blocks. Kind of like that. Also, what we could do, just to have a little bit more uh, cargo room, we'll go ahead and we'll make some cargo boxes. Now, you got to watch... Uh, oh, wait, no, never mind. You can't make the big ones here. Never mind. I was going to say... There are big ones in the and these little ones. These are for hover vessels. But oh yeah, these ones right here. You can make these too. But they're for a base or a capital vessel. Of course, you're never gonna start out with a capital vessel, so yeah. We'll make two of these. And that'll give us a little bit of cargo room. Real quick, I'm gonna hit in again. We'll take it off a of symmetry plane. We're done with the symmetry plane. So I'll show you real quick while the cargo boxes are making. Oh yeah, also if you hit the Alt key uh, while you're uh, in the right view mode, you can change your view up a little bit. And I think the page up and page down uh, keys will also help with the view. And if you hit Alt again, you can uh, change the view of your hover vessel. I need to actually go down a little bit more. There we go. Right about there. There we go. And this is a nice little hover bike. Starter hover bike. It goes really fast when there's no extra weight on it. Of course, we're going to put uh, a couple of uh, cargo boxes on it. So you, you hit space to lift it and C to lower it. You can, I can't remember which key it is. We can also turn it off somehow. That's not it, is it? Yeah, it is Y. So if you hit Y again, you'll turn your hover vessel back on. We're going to leave it on because we have our fridge, and we want to keep that running so that uh, our food will stay stable. Also, you got to be careful. Certain parts of your vessel will have a little bit of radiation, like your generator and stuff. It's not a big deal, but just a little extra information there. Let's go ahead and access that fuel tank. Well, <laughs> either way, I just need to put some more biofuel in it. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, oh, I know. No, it's right here. Uh, interesting. If I hit P, go here. Okay, I'm in my logistics menu somehow. Uh, let's see. No. Uh, what is going on here? I should be able to put... I'll tell you what. Let's put this over here. And we'll do it like that. Yeah, there we go. 
It has been a while, guys. Sorry. I haven't played this game in a while, actually, so yeah. There we go. Uh, let's see if our cargo boxes are ready. All that good stuff. All right, so we're going to put these on the side. Now this one is the smallest one. It can, it can carry a little bit, but if you go, if you hit right, I recommend using these. I think these will work too, but I like the way these look better, so we'll put these on the side. Probably right there because there's more weight on the back, so I'm going to put them right here. And put one more over here, and these will carry a, a good amount of weight. So as we discover stuff, you know, we'll have a place to uh, put all that. What we could also do is uh, we'll hit, uh, oh, excuse me for just a sec, I gotta close something out. There we go. Hit F3, go to Hover Vessel. Do we have, uh, where are they at? Uh... We'll go ahead and unlock spotlights. And we'll come over here and we'll make a spotlight for our hover vessel. And this will uh, help to see at night while we're driving around in our hover vessel. So real quick, we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And that should turn, yeah, that turns on automatically. So there we go. Now we got a little light for it. Just a little hover vessel to start out with. Not, not a big deal. But, uh, you know, as we keep going, uh, we will definitely probably either use the PDA or build on to this one. I do have, uh, where is it at? This one, we're not level 5 yet. This is a nice little hover vessel. It carries a good amount of stuff in it. We'll eventually switch over to this one, but for now, we're just going to use this little thing to explore in. One more thing, actually. And I do apologize. I thought I had everything I wanted for this thing, but actually, one more thing. We want to make a... Uh, I may have to unlock it too, if I have enough points. Okay, I need five more points, so I need to level up one more time to get that. Let's see. Oh, really? I'm that close. Okay, let's just see if we can find some plants nearby to pick so we can level up. Also, I'll get out my flashlight since it's dark again. Now, of course, with our hover vessel, it, it, at nighttime it'll get cold, so we will have to uh, deal with that. But we could probably we could probably sleep a little bit to speed up the nighttime a little bit. So uh, that didn't level. Yeah, it did level me up. So uh, let's go here. We'll unlock the detector. The te detector is just the same as the one we have in our inventory, but it's for your hover vessel. We're going to put the detector, well, actually need to make it first. Need to make our detector first. We'll make that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll probably put the detector over here. That shouldn't take long to make, yeah. There we go. There's that. We can go ahead and get rid of this. I don't think we'll need it. There's our detector. And we'll put that right there. That'll help us detect stuff while we're on our hover vessel. So you see that little thing? We can uh, access our detector now while we're in our hover vessel. There's some undiscovered stuff over here. We'll go over here now. And we'll go ahead and... Uh, uh, Raise up our hover vessel as high as it'll go. It'll only go uh, as high as 1.5 meters. Now, 
your standard hover vessels that re that have standard hover engines and thrusters they can lift up to three meters I think so that's good for going over water however you can go over water in these things you, there's a little trick to it I'll show you if we ever decide to cross the body of water oh hello alien bug what do we got here oh a damaged hover bike well there's the damage hover bike, but <laughs> a little too late for that. Also, we have found... Was that a hover bike or, or was it? Yeah, a hover bike. But also we have found the... Uh, another wreckage. This was called the... Uh, what was it called? <laughs> Excuse me. I forgot what it's called. Heidelberg. Yeah. The Heidelberg is a good... Uh, place to get resources oh hello oh it's guarded by stuff this time Ooh, let's get out of here oh dang it whoa never mind whoa that was something okay I wasn't expecting it to be guarded I'm glad I didn't get shot <laughs> well anyway we'll get out of there let's uh discover some stuff we gotta Talon territory over there. Not too worried about discovering that. We do have a POI over here. And as you can see, this thing goes a lot faster than your standard bike, but it does use biofuel or regular uh, fuel. Actually, real quick. Get out and grab you. Eat you real quick. I did suffer some damage from one of those swamp creatures, so... I will kind of grab these along the way just to kind of heal myself. There we go. Looking good. So let's go over here and see what we can find. What all do we have over here? Just a wreckage. We'll see if we can find something in here. Oh, an ancient outpost. These normally don't have anything in them that I can remember. But, I mean, you know, if you're just out exploring, I guess they're okay. But they're not, there's really nothing in them, so it's really not worth it. But, yeah. Uh, oh, we got some stuff this way. We've got a small wreckage, resource, old tank station. Oh, we've already discovered that. Never mind. Let's go over here where the Polaris territory. Now, if you lift your hover bike up like this and kind of keep it up like this, you can go over water. If you didn't do that, you could sink. So you got to be careful about that. But we'll go ahead and discover. Uh, it's the only thing I hate about a hover vessel in the temperate planets. There's tons of trees, so <laughs> you're going to run into them from time to time. But we'll discover all this stuff because uh, we'll get experience points for doing so. Of course, I'm going to do this routine until I get my health filled back up. Oops, I didn't mean to open the console. There we go. I got a crop field. I got some kind of POI over this way. Huh. Keep that nose up while we go over the water. And more Talon territory over here. Oh yeah, it's more Talon POIs. Okay. Well, there is a uh, regular POI out here. We'll go and see what's over here. Oh man. I didn't make any weapons. I planned on making some weapons, but I totally forgot. But that's okay. We'll just discover some stuff. Just an ancient temple anyway. We'll try to discover these uh, other Talon POIs. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, well, I'll keep running into stuff in this thing. It's kind of fast, but once we get cargo on it, it'll slow down. Trust me. So, resource. I don't really care about discovering the resource. I was 
Okay. I guess I discovered all those Talon Territories stuff. So we have leveled up. We need one more level to uh, start working on a better hover vessel than what we've got. But for now, we're going to have to deal with it. We do have uh, some more Talon POIs over here we'll discover for points. There we go. All right. Of course, we got resources. What else do we got? Uh, let's head back out on the water. I want to go maybe this way. Uh, let's go around this mountain and see what might be around it. So far, nothing, but we'll see. Do a little bit of exploring. Don't want to do a ton of exploring because it takes forever on a hover vessel. If you really want to explore a planet, that's when you need a small vessel that will fly in the air. These are just made for just discovering nearby POIs and stuff, but we'll go ahead and do a little bit more exploring. Real quick, I want to grab this. There we go. And that's all good. So. Let's see here. Uh, thought it would discover something, but. Okay, I don't need to grab any more alien. And actually, you know what? We do have a fridge now, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and uh, start picking some of this stuff up. And we could put it inside our little fridge here. And that'll stay stable inside of there. There's another one nearby, isn't there? Yeah, over here. There we go. Grab you real quick. Well, try to. Oh, I hear stuff. Let's get... Oh, let's get out. <laughs> oh, one of you, of course. Ugh. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Yeah. Tell you what, let's uh, go over this mountain. We'll head back to camp. I do need to make some weapons. I was going to, and I forgot about it. But we do need to make some weapons. Just in case we find an interesting POI. Also, any stuff that we find that we don't need, we'll try to sell back to the Polaris. So I do want to buy a drill and some drill charges to mine up some of these deposits. I'll show you how to do that on camera. Uh, actually, real quick, this copper deposit is on the way. So what I could do... Oh, there's a bunch of talent POIs. Let's, see if, let's try to grab some more experience points real quick. And there's something else. A lot of stuff out here. Well, I won't get stuck in all these trees. Okay, and well, it's pretty far out, ain't it? Yeah, well, we're getting there. Just want to get a few more experience points from these things. Easy experience points getting these uh, POIs discovered. So it's nice to do. There we go. Okay, another ancient tower. All right. A whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Yeah, we're almost level five, which is good. And I can start mining up deposits and, uh, get all the stuff that we need for our uh, next hover vessel. But I think for now, what I'm going to do is head back to camp. Well, <laughs> I don't wreck first. Yeah, let's avoid the red POIs. We'll keep going. 
we'll keep going and uh Yeah, camp's over here. Here we go. We'll go ahead and uh, park our vessel. Oh, I was going to show you something real quick. Let's go to one of these deposits really quick. We'll go to this uh, copper one. We need the... Actually, we do need some iron, too. I'll just show you at the iron deposit really quick. So... Kind of stop right about here. And what I like to do is stand on top of my vessel. And if you hit F5, it will give you access to your drone. And make sure we're in this resource mode. And if we look down, we'll find a deposit is actually right underneath us. So we'll get as close to it over here as we can, which would be probably right about here. And we'll start digging. And this is uh, an easy way to get some resources early on. Now when we get to drill, it'll be a lot faster. Well, faster than this anyway. I don't know how if they've nerfed the drill or, or not. But, you know, you keep digging like this and you will uh, uh, dig out resources. So we've got 34 uh, iron ore so far. Also... If you uh, hit tab, oh no, it doesn't do it anymore. It was a glitch where you hit tab. I guess they fixed that to where you can't see if there's anything around you. So what you'll have to do every now and then is get out of your drone just so you can see if there's anything nearby. You know, sometimes enemies might try to sneak up on you and stuff. So anyway, got a little bit of iron from that. That's pretty good. So, I want to head back to our camp. Where is it at? There we go. We need to go back to camp because, like I said, I forgot to make some weapons. I want to make a shotgun and I want to make... Uh, I want to make a little pistol. We'll turn our light off. We don't need it right now. Also, this little heater. Um, oh, where did I put the heater? Oh, I put it in here, didn't I? Well, we might need it, so go ahead and get it out. It's also kind of gives you a little bit of light so you can see, too, which is kind of neat. I thought I heard something. So, anyway, let's see here. Put you up. Oh, I need to put you in the fridge. Okay, we'll grab our iron. We'll put it in here. We'll go ahead and grab this stuff and put it in here in case we need it for carbon sustrate and stuff which requires plant fibers and stone dust. So there's that. Let's go ahead. We have unlocked some weapons. We've unlocked this and this. And this is the ammunition, ammunition for the pistol and the ammunition for the shotgun. Make about 10 rounds of that. We'll try to make about 10 rounds of the shotgun ammo if we can. So, while that's cooking, we'll go ahead and... Uh, I'll probably go ahead and end the episode here because uh, it's our, almost 30 minutes. So I'm going to let these make up. Also, I may spend some time off camera just digging up resources. Because I want to start checking resources into our next hover vessel. Even though we haven't had this one very long. Uh, this other hover vessel will be a lot better to have. Because it will have a constructor. It will have a lot of different stuff. It will be much more maneuverable than this. But this is you know, nice to have early on. So anyway. Yeah. That's probably going to be it. So here's our uh, weapons. We'll put our survival tool right here. We'll get a shotgun right here. They have changed the look of these. Interesting. Yeah, have changed the look of these. I do like the new look. That's pretty cool. Of course, you re reload it. Do I not have ammo for this thing? 
Oh, I thought I grabbed the ammo. There we go. Already got 125 rounds for the pistol. Now your pistol. It's not bad, but it's not really great either. But it w it is pretty good for taking down like drones and stuff if you don't have an assault rifle yet. The shotgun is really handy though because uh, let's see here, it's gonna make one more round of those. Okay, and then it'll make some shotgun rounds. The shotgun is really good. Let me make uh, let it make one more uh, round of that. The shotgun's really good because it uh, it deals a lot of concussive damage to it. You can uh, kill stuff, you know, short range for a lot of damage. So here we go. So this is our shotgun, and it used to have a little uh, scope on it, but it doesn't have it anymore. It's got iron sights. But it really doesn't matter too much because uh, these the range on this isn't very much. So anyway, there's our weapons. So like I said, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to do some off-camera work, gather some resources. I need to make some ingots for our next hover vessel. We're going to need, uh, it says I'm like level 5, but I'm already, I'm almost level 5. Huh. Well. It won't take long to get level 5, actually. Let's just go real quick in our hover vessel. And we'll uh, see if we can discover some more stuff real quick. Oh, maybe not. Tell you what we can do, though. Is, uh... Well, here's one over here, but it's, like, way over there. Let's, uh... See if there's anything nearby we can grab. We don't need very many more points. Let's see here. Grab those. Yeah, we're getting close. We could mine out some uh, rocks and stuff. That might give us a little bit, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, we don't need very many points. Let's see. What I may do is just like grab some plants and stuff, get some experience just to get to level five. So we'll be uh, ready for that. Of course, I hit another rock. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end the episode here and uh, be spending some time doing some off-camera work, just gathering resources and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. We made a hover vessel, so now you know how to make a hover vessel. It's your very basic hover vessel, but it's better than nothing. And next episode, we will try to get in our our next hover vessel. And it'll be nice. It'll have a fridge. It'll have container, a container controller, which will hold a lot of stuff. Plus, it'll have thrusters, so it'll go faster than what we've got. And it'll just be an all-in-all -all pretty good, pretty good starter hover vessel that I made. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see y'all next time.